Today on the Philly Tall Podcast, we got to talk about a bunch of Philly dogs. Jalen Carter is out here breaking, blocking sleds in practice. Jordan Davis looks like he's in the best shape of his life. Nolan Smith is on the Greenlight Podcast talking spicy. And we got to go over the leader at linebacker, N'Kobe Dean Snaps, last year. How many did he have? This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast, and today we got a lot to talk about. It's all about the Philly Dogs today, but before we do that, Eagle Nation, help your boy out and hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and ding the bell so you know when we go live or drop videos, because we were live yesterday at 4 p.m., I believe, with Dave Spadero, and he said a lot of stuff as it pertains to OTAs, the little review we did, what we want to see, who's going to get first look at these battles and blah 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 but the main thing he said and i totally agree is we just got to get out of otas healthy because training camp preseason and the season is much more important and i totally agree but listen he told me that jalen carter broke a block and sled in practice I got one last question, and it is the number uh, nine pick. I wanted to say 10 for a second. What what has he been like through your eyes, just a little bit of stuff on the field in the shorts, just through, you know, walking through in the hallways, Jalen Carter? Jalen Carter's, I think he broke a blocking sled in the first weekend, the rookie weekend. I think that's what I heard. Um, just incredible natural strength. He's been very, he's been at every meeting. He's been at every practice. He's been on time for everything. He's been very... He's a quiet guy. He has applied himself. He's off to a terrific start here. You know, um, he's not going to be overwhelmed by what happens in training camp. And so far, so great for Jalen Carter. I'm, you know, I'm impressed with him. And it's early. Uh, we'll we'll see how it goes along. Got a lot to learn. Offensive guards are pretty smart. Centers they're smart. They've been around mm-hmm. this league. They've seen him. His type of player before. So. They'll have some tricks up their sleeves for him, but I feel like he, if he puts it all together, has a chance to be, you know, a really, really great football player. Now, before we talk about him breaking the sled, you heard him. He's been to every practice. He's on time. He's studying in the film room. He's doing everything right, and I'm glad to hear that early. And then you go to his on-field present. Look, I'm not saying nobody's never broke a blocking sled but you don't hear them things breaking left and right. It's an NFL equipment piece, right? And for those who can't uh, picture what a block and sled looks like off top of your head, as soon as I show you this clip, you'll know what it is. It's this machine. And this is Carter and Ajomo using it early. He didn't break it here. But with this intensity only revving up as he gets more comfortable with the guys, with the drills, sheesh. Jalen Carter is going to be a stud. We all know this, but it's furthermore showing you that the Eagles did their due diligence. The Philly dog bond they got, plus this organization's with their leader. It was absolutely the right pick, the only pick, and he's going to be the best player in this draft once it's all said and done. And uh, guess who's going to be in the top 10 as well? I wholeheartedly believe Nolan Smith. Now, before we get to Nolan Smith, let's look at these pictures. You got Fletch at OTAs. He don't normally come to OTAs. That's just the culture that we got in this run-it-back season. Other teams that lost the Super Bowl, their 10-year veteran is not going to be there, but we are hungry. You got Fletch and OTAs, right? You got Jordan Davis looking so slim. Now, remember a couple days ago, a week ago, we got the reports from Jacob and Greg Cosell about major uh, changes or major progression in Jordan Davis. We were like, what are they talking about? His footwork, his mindset? No, they talking about his size, his weight, his healthiness. 
You got Milton Williams right there, too. And, of course, you got Jalen Carter. Nothing but smiles. Nothing but smiles. But I want to show you this. All them reports on Jordan Davis is just talking about how he looks coming into OTAs, which is in great shape. That's big. We talk about how many snaps can he take, how many snaps is he going to get, is he going to be gassed in the fourth quarter. Now, this rotation is going to keep him healthy, and you're going to want to see you're going to want to see a little bit of Milton Williams. You're going to want to see Fletch. You're going to want to see Jalen Carter. So we're not asking Davis to do it all. But with this slimmer down body, he's still the biggest guy height-wise and weight-wise on the field. Slimming down is not a bad thing for Jordan Davis because – he could slim down and still be bigger than your your DT. You know what I mean? Um, I think it's going to be better for his longevity, his health, his uh, endurance. And uh, he's working with his boys. So I can't wait to see the combination of Nolan Smith, Fletcher, uh, Nolan Smith, Jordan Davis, Jalen Carter, and Kobe Dean all in the field at one time. That will happen week one. I believe it will happen week one. Not Ringo. But the other four Philly dogs. And somebody's going to make the tackle. Four out of 11, odds are a Philly dog going to make the stop. But this is Jordan Davis, again, just looking like he understands. I believe he had a good year last year as it pertained to stopping the run early in the season. The injury played a part in him falling apart, not getting back in the rotation, blah, 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 blah. Injuries can knock the best of player off their feet. But now he sees the D-tackle room. Now he sees Jalen Carter. We still paying Fletch 10 mil. Motivation. And we heard, we hear him talk. He's a motivated type of, of person. All everybody from Georgia can get right when they need to get right. I just feel it. Now I want to show you this clip. Um, ML Football posted it. Uh, it's off the Green Light Podcast with Chris Long. Super Bowl 52. But listen to Nolan Smith talk about tackling in the cold. He's not worried about the weather. Listen. You didn't play in the cold a lot, did you, in the SEC? Do you I mean, mind it? I don't, I don't mind it. I yeah. don't care. As long as I get to go out there and hit them up. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, don't, I don't really care about <laughs> yeah. none of that shit. Man, you get warm. You get warmer the more you hit people. I tell people that. Also, everybody else is feeling cold and feeling sorry for themselves. So if you're just like, man, I'm going to speed up. You know, everybody else is slowing down. Now, I tell people, when you take the elements out of all that like yeah. stuff and certain people, like, yeah. man, guys from Miami that come up here, they're going exactly. like, bro, I don't even know what I got on this plate, but I just know my hand's cold as fuck. And then you got a guy on the other <laughs> side of me like, I'm about to fuck you up. Uh-huh, <laughs> so, exactly, dude. It's all mindset. You didn't play. No holds bar talking spicy, and I like that. He also said that when he looks at some of the veterans, Fletch, BG, Sweat, you know, he got that same motor and that same hypeness for the game as Brandon Graham. The thing is, though, he's not going to tackle you with a smile. You know what I mean? I think he's like, oh, he will. I don't know. Can't remember. But the BG stuff is just um, it's great because you can, you can sense the presence of BG, right? Not only is he getting double-digit sacks, but mind you, we didn't have a son Reddick, but still, we had a pretty decent D-line. When Brandon Graham went down week two of the 2021 season, we finished 31st in sacks. Hargrave was there. Fletch was there. Sweat was there. All these great players who had a great season in 22 too, as well. They were there in 21. Where was Hargrave? Where was Fletch? Even Sweat. Yeah, I think he had eight or nine. It's not bad. BG goes down the present. We went from 31st to 1st. BG, Hassan. That's all we brought brought back. We added Hassan, and we got back Brandon Graham, who played 47% of the snaps, but oh, by the way, had his best season. Forty-seven percent of the snaps had his best season. Now let's talk about Nicobe Dean because he—he's not a rookie, but he's one of the. I'm so excited for a lot of Philly dogs, but he's right up there. You tell me, Jalen Carter, Nolan Smith, I'm excited. Jordan Davis, after seeing this and knowing what he can do, 
stopping the run, being a man, taking on two blocks, letting guys like Carter, Hassan, Nolan, and Nakobe E. And then you got Nakobe, who just looks like he understands. I asked Dave Spadero, does he see a difference in Nakobe Dean, knowing that he's the guy? And he said, not really, because Nakobe Dean has always been about his business. He took two Georgia classes after the Super Bowl mathematical engineer classes and he's doing them but now he's back to work work and i can just hear in his voice in the words he speaks that he's ready but look elliot shore park said death chart at linebacker with snaps played on defense for the eagles now of course nicholas morrow had snaps played for the bears but just a familiarity and he is familiar with sean desai but not these players right there is a chemistry thing that you have to have happen blah 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 um, Nicobe Dean played 34 snaps for the Eagles at linebacker last year. Christian Ellis, 22, Nicholas Morrow, 0, Sean Bradley, Davion Taylor, and Ben Van Sumerun. And some of y'all been in the comment section asking me to do some, do some deep research on Ben Van Sumerun. Can he make the roster? Elias Shore Parks also said so many possibilities, outcome starters, backups, cuts, trades for the linebacker unit. Yes. When that big cut comes, that one day, instead of cutting players little by little by little, it's going to be a cut. You, you, you take the 30, 30 players cut, what was it, 30, 40 players per team times 32, bing, bing, boom, boom. That's going to be like a 1,500 people, 1,500 players getting cut at the same time. Might be some linebackers. What if a team that has three, four good linebackers what if a team has five good linebackers, but they can only keep three, only can keep four, so they let one go. So, like, there's still things that how we could do, but this is the uh, depth chart right now. To me, it goes N'Kobe Dean, Nicholas Morrow, probably Christian Ellis, then Sean Bradley, and I got to look at Ben Van Summerun, or I don't know how to say his last name, and Davion Taylor's on a practice squad, but there were some health concerns there as well. So you never know if the Eagles give him a shot because we did see some potential when on the field at times. Maybe I can get him back on the channel, to be honest. But listen, let me know your thoughts in the comment section as it pertains to all the Philly dog stuff. If you made it to the 12-minute and 32-second mark, do me a favor. Check out the Philly dogs hat. We got him in Kelly Midnight Green, but we also got him in Kelly Green. You could wear them with the shirt, without the shirt. There's no red in the hat, but they got the green and white colors. That is in the shirt. So again, you got the Kelly Green, you got the Midnight, and you also got the Philly Dog shirt. The collage is coming. I have a lot of pictures that y'all sent me. I appreciate it. But uh, I can't show you without taking a hat down. But the merch is still there. Like I said, uh, I think tomorrow will, no, June 3rd will be the first month that this has been out. So these shirts have only been out for a little bit less than a month. Y'all been rocking. We still going to try to get one of the Philly dogs to wear it. That's my goal. Before this season starts, one of the Philly dogs wearing the Philly dog shirt or rocking the hat. I don't know. As long as they rock one, I'll feel proud. But I'm also proud that y'all been rocking it, showing pictures to me. Drop the muscle emoji if you made it to the 1345. Only the real OGs made it that far. A lot of people be cutting out around that five, six, seven, eight minute mark. They don't got the stand up. I'm just kidding. I'm getting crazy now. I feel like I'm about to watch a football game. Um, leave your thoughts in the comment section if you on everything we talked about. Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, Nolan Smith, Nakobe Dean. If you got something else you want to let me know, please. I love reading y'all comments. If you don't got nothing to say though, it's Philly culture. Until next time, you know what time it is. We out.